Good evening, everyone. It's Dr. Shiva Adre. We're going to have an interesting discussion today, and it's going to be on ginkgo bilboa and lung congestions. What is ginkgo bilboa? Well, it's native to China, and it's used in traditional Chinese medicine since at least the 11th century, and its medicinal benefits are attributed to the leaves. Now, if you look at the leaves here closely, they're fascinating, and you can just chew it. In fact, you can eat it. The leaf of the herb looks like if you took a slice of the human brain and you cut it. And there's this whole thing in Chinese medicine called the signature of likes that sometimes Sometimes something that looks like the body part that it's for actually helps that. For example, if you take ginseng, if you look at it, it looks like an entire person and it's good for the entire body. It's a nutritive tonic for the entire body. Walnuts look like the hemisphere of the brain and they also turn out they're good for the brain and so on. No one's ever proven this, but it's something that comes out in traditional systems of medicine. So let's begin by first talking about the system's biology of lung congestion. The first thing is on the left side, you have your normal airways. You notice this nice and clean. The walls are pretty thin. There's no mucus in there. When you have congestion, you notice how thick the airway walls have become. And they actually become scarred and thickened. And it's wider. It's much bigger than normal. And you have all this mucus and there's green stuff that we're showing here. All of this, by the way, is a result of excess blood in specific parts of the lungs. Your body is smart. It sends blood to a particular place because it's trying to heal an infection. So common system of respiratory tract infections are mucus membranes become inflamed. There's excess mucus production with blocks of different airways. And this is what causes the difficulty in breathing. This is an ideal breeding ground for bacteria leading to secondary infections. We want to analyze ginkgo bilboa using cytosol, the technology that I created out of my PhD work. And we want to integrate the current research. There's close to 4,940 research articles out there on ginkgo. 414 clinical trials, which means they tested ginkgo on humans. Close to 90 years, people have done all this research. Now what cytosol does, since the power of cytosol, we can take all of this research and instead of just cherry picking one or two, which is what a lot of the big pharma guys do or people want to present their view, we take all of that research and we identify the molecular mechanisms related to lung congestion. And then from that, we distill that knowledge to what we're doing here. And that's brought to you by Cytosol. I wanted to let you know that we use the technology here. We've helped many, many companies over the last 16 years, a lot of smart, innovative companies, but we decided with all the mathematical models we've created, why don't we try to use this to compute the best product we could think of from the science out there for reducing pain and inflammation, pain and discomfort. And that resulted in us creating MV25 using Cytosol. We're going to have more products that are going to be coming, but let me just show you what MV25 is about for those of you who haven't heard about it. But this is using Cytosol in a beneficial way, not to just do research, but find combination therapies. I am Barbara and my hands would cramp up so that I couldn't hold cards or knit or crochet and they would go like that. Not have to use this when I played cards with my grandkids. And I started taking that MV25. After a bit, I was able to hold cards in my hand. Very, very little cramping, hardly at all anymore. MV25. Hi, my name is Sandy. I'm a Taekwondo instructor. I tore my ACL during Taekwondo. I had a lot of pain and limited mobility. I've been taking the MV25 for about six months now. After the first week, I noticed a big difference. After the second week, almost literally no pain. My name is Jeremy and I suffer from a lower back problem. Hurt my back at work years ago and I can go to the chiropractor, do all kinds of different things and nothing seems to help. And I decided to try MV25. I didn't notice a difference immediately, but within a few days the pain went away and it stayed away. I've continued to take it and even when I do things that I shouldn't do, it seems to go away a lot quicker than it ever did before. It's clean food certified, it's made in the US. If you go to vashiva.com right on the shop, you'll click there or you can go right to mv25.life either way. And then from there, you can click on the bottle and you can order. Please take advantage of it because first of all, it's gonna help you. It's gonna help our movement. And it really supports the fact that we wanna take science-based approaches to natural products. So what does ginkgo contain? 28 different molecules are involved in ginkgo. Nine key minerals, seven different key vitamins, eight bioflavonoids. Remember, food is medicine. You're not just getting one chemical compound, which is what a pharmaceutical drug is giving you. You're getting many, many different nutrients. So ginkgo has seven different biological effects, okay? First 
first of all, it's anti-ulcer, it's anti-cancer, it's anti-inflammatory, anti-spasmodic, anti-diabetic, anti-parasitic, and antibacterial, anti-ulcer. And the health benefits are ginkgo. It affects many, many things. You can use it for asthma, wound healing, diabetes, kidney disease, arterial sclerosis, cancer, hypertension, memory, skin health, and allergies. Now, when you think about lung congestion, there's five chemical gears that are running. And these five chemical gears all need to be really alleviated if you want to bring down the congestion in your lungs. So it's not any one thing. This is a systems approach. Drugs will only affect one of those things. You want to affect all of this. So what are those five molecular machines? Well, one of them is called the arachidonic acid metabolism pathway. This is what causes inflammation. Cytokine production via MAPK, but it's also through NF kappa beta. So there's two cytokine production pathways. This is when you have the cytokine storm taking place. Then there's actually what we call mucin, which is a technical term for mucus production. And then finally, the smooth muscle relaxation. So if you were to think about it from an engineering standpoint, the big takeaway is that there are six chemicals that you want to bring down when you have lung congestion. And there's one chemical you actually want to bring up. Now that we understand what happens in your lungs, we understand these five molecular pathways, we understand what's in ginkgo. Now we're going to put it together. How does ginkgo affect those molecular pathways? It's anti-mucus, hypersecretion effect, anti-asthma effect, anti-fibrosis effect, which is a thickening of the walls and acute lung injury prevention effect. So look at all those wonderful things that ginkgo can do. There are these five particular, very powerful, naturally occurring compounds in ginkgo. You're producing lots and lots of mucus. That occurs because you have the upregulation of PKC. Quercetin comes and it blocks PKC. So when that happens, it stops all of this. Ginkgo also has a anti-asthma effect. So you have these things called mast cells. Mast cells activate the promotion of asthma symptoms. Again, you have this ERK MAPK signaling pathway that leads to the activation of these MAP cells through phosphorylation. And the ginkgo light B in ginkgo comes in and it blocks the ERK 1 slash 2 phosphorylation. So it blocks this. So all of this gets stopped. Quercetin also has an anti-fibrosis effect. Quercetin blocks TGF-beta. TGF-beta is what induces fibrosis through the AKT mTOR pathway, which upregulates all these horrible cytokines. These are what causes the scarring and the fibrosis. Quercetin blocks TGF-beta right up front. And this occurs in the epithelial mesenchymal cells in your lungs. And then we have the prevention of acute lung injury. Now the infection of a lung can cause acute lung injury. So you're getting all that mucus, bacteria, comes in and this is the last thing you want. Now, amantoflavon from ginkgo prevents the lung injury by doing two-step process. It inhibits the nfk beta signaling, thereby reducing this inflammation from cytokine storm, but it also upregulates NRF2 signaling. This is a very good thing. And boom, your body starts producing this very powerful antioxidants, which stop the oxidative stress, which would lead to acute lung injury. Now, is ginkgo right for you? Now, when we look at ginkgo, what you find is ginkgo will stabilize the forces of motion. It stabilizes conversion, which means it eases digestion. It stabilizes the storage part, which means you're not going to gain fat. You're not going to go crazy and suddenly start moving around like crazy. It stabilizes the very interesting herb. Not all herbs do this, but ginkgo stabilize according to the Eastern traditions. Now, four issues to consider when you take ginkgo. We always want to give you the whole truth, not saying just eat it all day long. If you have prone to skin rashes, ginkgo can affect that. If you are on, let's say someone taking a lot of blood thinning when you bleed easily. Ginkgo actually thins it or constipation, okay, or seizures. So again, you should consult a medical professional. Understand that if you're prone to any of these things, you should be aware. At the end of the day, people ask, well, how much ginkgo should I take for not only this, but for other things? Well, for asthma, Nugent et al. in the recent research that just came out said 120 to 240 milligrams per day of ginkgo extract. For memory, 240 milligrams per day. That's from Tan et al. in a 2015 research. Research. Ginkgo also affects macular degeneration, 160 milligrams per day of the ginkgo extract. And for diabetes, around 100. So if you look at this, it's anywhere between 120 to 240 milligrams can support the lungs. So is all ginkgo bilboa good? The organic is preferred over the conventionally grown because conventional farming uses pesticides that are linked to liver, lung, kidney, thyroid toxicity. And the organic farming also produces plants free of these pesticides. And by the way, you may want to look for ginkgo with the certified clean, certified raw. This is 
a certification that we developed and involves really looking at safety, being minimally processed and high bioavailability. So in summary, Ginkgo has several health benefits. Number one, it reduces the mucus hypersecretion symptoms. It prevents fibrosis. It reduces asthma symptoms and it lowers acute lung injury. So there you go. Be the light, uh, take care of your health, continue to learn and join the movement for truth, freedom and health. The only movement on the planet that is integrating truth, freedom and health and gets you to act versus just sitting on your buns and not doing anything. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Shiva Duray. Before we continue with this, I want to just remind everyone that because of the massive censorship and shadow banning that still continues on social media platforms, I'd like you to click the link to continue watching this on our own platform at vashiva.com. Thank you very much.